Yeah, hello and welcome to another update video about Bitcoin and Cardano. Welcome to More Crypto Online, the crypto community where we're actually happy about the dip because we talked about it since the 4th of December. Now, actually, we talked about it earlier, but on the 4th of December, that was when a critical level was um, broken by Bitcoin, which made me yeah, basically focus primarily on the bearish scenario. And um, yeah, that's why everybody also in the Telegram live chat is actually um, fairly happy because people could at least leave some money aside if they wanted to to um, yeah to basically wait for this dip at least it helped me because I was really slow in buying any cryptos in December I really held back not sure if I really did buy anything in December but then um, towards these lower prices I started to dollar cost average in now and um, yeah I think it's a good way of building a crypto portfolio at a lower price. It's only my view, no financial advice. I know prices will probably drop further. I've been talking about that anyway, uh, about the price range between 20 and 29K. But I think um, even these are fantastic prices that are going to make a big difference in the future when we are going to see new all-time highs. So looking at Bitcoin here, we obviously talked on this channel about the Elliott Wave count. We talked about this impulse down which is still ongoing. We talked about the head and shoulders that we saw and we talked about the higher level um, ABC pattern that is playing out all based on the Elliott wave count, the Elliott wave method. So a large wave one here all the way into um, April, then an impulse down in a wave A, a uh, fake out to the upside, well, basically an overshooting wave B, which did go above the previous high, which faked everybody out. And then we are now seeing this correction. I had a comment in a previous video, I think, um, below the live stream where someone said that actually a lot of people say if we break the previous low here from uh, summer 21, then we're going to go in a bear market because this would basically be a lower low and confirm the downtrend. Well, not really because any major sell off or any sell off really in the most traditional sense is taking place in a sell off, a relief rally and a final sell off. So you always get normally in a correction um, these ABCs. You had it, um, uh, you, you do have it in any in any correction really you know um you, you see it even even when you move up here you always see basically your final setup so we did see it here you moved up yeah made a high come down in a wave a you come up in a wave b relief rally and you come down your final sell off and then you can start with your new impulse so that's what happens here on a very large scale which makes me believe this is huge therefore the next move up will be huge as well and i compare it to what the s p 500 did um over a period of many years though that happened, but it's pretty much the same pattern where you came all the way up here in wave one, you came down in wave two, that would be the summer dip. Then you came all the way up in an all time, new all time high basically back then, basically a fake out, then you throw a very, very strong crash. That came below that summer low here uh, or that low on the S&P 500. And then see what happened then. You saw new, new all time highs and has never stopped since then. So that is, I think, similar to what we can expect, not playing out over a decade or so, not now. Um, the crypto market is far too young for that, but uh, we can see something similar on the chart here. It's pretty much the same pattern. I would expect that to play out like that. Um, a lot of people relate that now to what's going on in the world, but to be fair, I don't think so. These are just, and, and it's it's normal market moves. That's my view from an Elliott Wave analyst analyst point of view. These are normal market cycles. Of course, in any market, there is a degree of manipulation where market makers are moving the market in a certain direction and can can move the sentiment into certain directions. That's certainly going on anyway, but these are normal market moves and they've been playing out um, like that for, for years, decades, well, always, you know, and um, you can see that why, why otherwise would be Fibonacci levels hit that accurately um, we can see it. there are, is a, I forgot the name. There's one indicator for Bitcoin that really shows that in every bull run, the uh, 1.618 extension was, I think, hit, but always the lower extension. So um, all of that just shows that the markets are adhering to these FIP levels. They are adhering to normal waves. Um, and these, yeah, of course, you know, news can accelerate certain scenarios, like in this case, the sell-off which is fantastic. I actually liked it that we are selling off faster than originally expected because we on this channel talked about potential relief rallies here throughout. There was a bit of a weak one that was just a wave four, um, no real relief rally up, which is good because that could have extended everything for another couple of months. On the other hand, I would have loved to sell something then here 
uh, had we really gone up, but yeah, we haven't seen it. Overall on the daily, we can see that we are massively oversold. Normally that is quite a, I, I would, it would be wrong to call it a bullish sign, but it is something where historically a lot of people would have bought in and then to wait for higher prices, because if, if you had always bought in um, when the RSI was at minimum, Historically, these would have been fantastic opportunities to make a lot of gains and then basically sell when it's oversold. It's fairly easy to, you know, in theory, stand hard in practice because a lot of people don't have the mindset for it. You know, it, it always seems easy and it always, um, yeah, you know, it's basically, yeah, then you come up, you know, you're only halfway through here on the price chart. You would sell here, you would buy back here. Yeah, you could have done that, um, but then, the, the mindset oftentimes doesn't work like that, you know, and um, people then do FOMO and whatever. Um, but yeah, on, on one hand, it, this looks fairly bullish, you know, that oversold on the daily. But then if we take a look again on the higher level timeframes, we can see that on the weekly here, there is still scope for the RSI to drop further on the MACD as well, just pointing down. And overall, I would expect further price drops. We can see that we currently here at a key support level, the 34 point six level which is the 0.5 fib level of that whole wave up here um we're currently holding here you can see how accurately we're holding here this is purely fib that's nothing else that's why we're holding here this is nothing to do with anything else purely fibonacci as we did hold above this fib level as we found resistance at this fib level this is why you know this is the, the markets adhere to fibonacci levels that that's how it works and the next key level will be the 0.618 at 27,450. That is the ideal level for a correction in general. I think the price will have very good chances to recover from here. Of course, there is no guarantee it could dip further. If it dips further, there's a high likelihood it could even get to the 0.786 fib level 17K. Now, I don't think that's very likely. I think rather it will stay either here on the 0.618 or stay at least above the high of the previous bull run which was around 20k that is where you know no bitcoin has never fallen in a bear market or in a correction below the high of the previous cycle that's why i'm confident that the 20k should hold now cardano obviously now uh, in a different scenario in a different pattern we unfortunately have to adjust the price targets because it did not stop above a dollar it broke below a dollar even though it has reclaimed it yet i think if even if it holds a dollar for now i think the likelihood that it drops again below is very high now that it's broken it it's come down perfectly to that um support line that i had on the chart um and that is here at 91 92 cents um it's the support that i talked about earlier today today this morning in my first video today it has held that support that was just a technical area where previously we had wicks come down basically acting as support that level as well but now that we've broken the dollar we have invalidated this bullish um this this purple wave we've invalidated yet we've also invalidated here that one two pattern we have to start the wave one down here now so it's basically yes yeah, still a wave one but what we get the wave two would be down here so i can I, I have to take some time and reorganize all of this because you now have here no this would be the wave one no then you have your wave one here your wave two in a sense that simplifies the whole chart doesn't it it makes the one the two and this purple one i can actually take out so you've got your wave one here to the upside you've got your wave two that's coming down now i think and then you'll have your wave three that's going to come up uh, unfortunately the, the uh, correction is taking longer than expected um yeah it takes longer than expected unfortunately so i think the timing wasn't right you know unfortunately because bitcoin is now correcting cardano started earlier theoretically we should have seen the counter move here already unfortunately because bitcoin is pulling the market down the correction for ada is carrying on as well and i think there are fairly good chances we drop again below a dollar or even to the 90 cent level um but overall, after that, I'm confident that Cardano, I had a question, you know, is there a chance that Cardano could not survive this? And I don't think there will. Cardano has survived already a bear market and uh, the project is more widespread than it ever was. It's a uh, thriving community. There is a lot of development work. I think it has been the crypto with the most development work in 2020 
one on GitHub. That, that is a big, big and huge sign. Of course, not everything is running perfect. Uh, it, it does nowhere, you know, nowhere everything's perfect. But I think now finally people start to realize because previously there was so much hate about Cardano and you can now obviously see, you see Cardano dropping a lot, but we can see basically, I mean, from the all time high here, let's just take a look. Um, it's been pretty much a 60, 70% yeah, drop. I mean, to be fair, what Solana did is very similar now. And I said before, many cryptos are now just doing the same. So there's no reason to hate Cardano anymore because the other cryptos are doing the same thing. As I always said, Cardano is just going through a normal correction. It just started earlier than the other ones because it was very strong uh, when it moved up here and very early, faster than other cryptos because it did, uh, because of this, um, the Alonso hard fork. And last thing I wanted to look at the ADA BTC chart. We're still here in uptrend, even though um, it was basically extended away here and then we came down quite hard, but we're still sort of following here this ascending trend line, which is a good sign. So that uptrend is not over yet, but again, um, the, the Bitcoin breakdown has slowed everything down, but um, it's certainly still uh, fairly positive that we haven't made a lower high here yet. So we're making still progress and moving up on the ADA BTC chart, which is positive. Uh, that was the update now for ADA BTC. Um, hope you liked the update. If you did, please smash the like button and subscribe. And again, if you really like the content, maybe consider to join the channel membership and uh, join a really, really positive community. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.